am starting this vlog in a little bit different uh, manner. I'm actually in Chicago at the Midway Airport, uh, getting ready to fly to my next destination. This is a layover. And just figured, you know, I'd start this uh, vlog a little bit differently with a layover. So Chicago now, and you'll see what's happening. We're gonna see where we're going next. Yep, I am in New Orleans, Louisiana, for here for a week with the Eyes of Freedom. This is probably my favorite city in the country. Every time I come here, it's just a really cool experience. And New Orleans is its own type of city. There isn't in any other city I visited that, that is like this. So it's gonna be fun. After a very, very nice dinner, Straley and I are walking back to the hotel in downtown New Orleans. Mike, are we having a great time? Quit breaking the law, Sean. What, you mean on green light? Oh, I didn't know it, <laughs> We're having a good time. Great event. Booking lots of events for 2018. Rock on. All right. So, uh, Dave here. Amazing tour of New Orleans. We went to the Ninth Ward. drove us by Jazzland. That's the first time I've been to that park since way before Katrina hit when it was just Jazzland for Six Flags. So I appreciate that. So we eat at, how do you say, Drago's? Drago's. Drago's. Or I had fries, vegetarian thing, you know. And he suggests we go to this bar, Pat's Pub. And uh, Mike hey. wanted me to scare out the entire restaur restaurant by doing a metal scream, which I didn't do. But that brought up a conversation with Dave here. Do you know Crowbar? Yeah, do you know Crowbar? He asked me if I know Crowbar. For those that know me, know me, I'm into heavy music, Crowbar's the best seen them a few times and we just went to that bar and that's Kirk Weinstein's bar favorite bar An favorite watering hole another massive metal moment it's good night and he was there last night I mean last weekend your weekend week too late that hurts later. <laughs> What a fantastic trip to New Orleans. Uh, very productive for the Eyes of Freedom. Uh, had a great tour from Dave Schmidt that works for RNL Carriers. And this is my last day here. So uh, I'm getting ready to head to the airport here in New Orleans and we're gonna continue uh, this journey. 
So I did see something very, very scary uh, yesterday. Why at the convention center, um, my back was just a couple feet from the escalator and there was a woman with a dog that kept her little dog on the escalator and it got caught at the bottom and was freaking out and then she ended up passing out. We thought she was having a heart attack. It was scary stuff. Easily one of the scariest things that I have seen. But the good thing is uh, I checked with her um, a couple hours later and she was doing fine. The dog was doing fine. It was bandaged up. But for all you pet owners out there, just remember, do not put your animal on the escalator, especially a small animal, because um, it can end up very bad. That actually could have ended up way worse than it actually did. So yeah, fantastic trip. And I've enjoyed every bit of my time here in New Orleans. Can't wait to uh, come back, but I gotta get out of this humidity. Yeah, you can't see, but I'm in downtown New Orleans the next morning. This is humid. My coworker, Mike Straley, said it best that the air is so thick you can basically chew it. So, here we go. Play over in Dallas, and here we go. Let's go. I am doing this update from my home in Columbus, Ohio. And when I was on that last flight, something terrible happened here in Columbus. As soon as I landed, I turned on my cell phone and I was bombarded by voice messages, uh, phone calls, texts telling me about the horrible accident at the Ohio State Fair that took place when I, during the time when I was on that flight. The fair is supposed to be a place that's supposed to be safe. It can provide a really great time and a ride there, a fireball that I have ridden that exact ride many times throughout the years. It had an accident and Several people were injured and an 18-year-old man named Tyler Gerald was killed. And there are many reasons why this is weighing heavy on my mind, even after two days after this happened. So I read that Tyler Gerald had just signed up and went through to the MEP station here in Columbus and took that oath signed that piece of paper so he could join the Marines the Friday before he was killed. The Marines made a statement saying that even though he didn't go through boot camp and uh, was officially titled a Marine, he was one of them. Someone takes that oath and signs that piece of paper is a hero of my book. And as soon as they released a picture of Tyler I knew that I had seen him somewhere. As it turns out, Tyler worked at the McDonald's just a couple miles from my house. And the last time I went through there uh, to get some fries and a Coke on my way to Cincinnati where I flew out for Phoenix, I truly believe he is the young man that gave me my food. And he had a very stern look on his face and when he handed my food he said, thank you sir, and I moved on. He went to high school just a couple miles from my house. And then yesterday, I was getting my hair cut and my barber informed me that he was a customer there. All these things are playing heavy on my mind these last couple days. Um, 
I mean, those that subscribe to me, the majority of you that subscribe to me, I know are here for the roller coaster and amusement park thing. And I do try to tie in um, patriotism and stuff I do with the Eyes of Freedom to balance everything out. So the fact that this was amusement related and it had to do with the Marine, I think is why this is so heavy on my mind. And normally I wouldn't be sitting here on one of my massive logs at home talking to you, but I just wanted to take a moment to pay tribute to Tyler and to let his family and friends know that I'm thinking of you. And if there's anything I can do, you name it. There's a very good chance they will never see this, but I just needed to throw it out there. So I'm gonna continue on with this massive log. Just keep him in your thoughts and think about what his family and friends are going through at this time. You're on my vlog. On my vlog. Hello. So breaking in the brand new flag for the first time. All right. I am now in Medina, Ohio at the Medina County Fair with the Eyes of Freedom. And for those of you that don't know exactly what the Eyes of Freedom is, please visit our website, eyesoffreedom.org. Uh, we take this display all across the country. I'm sure you know if you've been watching the massive vlogs. But uh, yeah, it looks great here. And one of the traditions we've been doing since day one with this display is we have a Marine Corps flag and we have everybody sign it. And that flag stays left behind in the community once we leave. Very rarely do we get to see what happens to them. But this event is special because we have our own Eyes of Freedom flag and it's already full after one day. Check it out. With everything that I mentioned in that previous break about Tyler Gerald, our entire mission is honoring all who answer our nation's call, then, now, and tomorrow and he was definitely part of that tomorrow. So uh, we do this every bit for him as well. Time in Medina is continuing, and I'm here with one of my favorite people in the world. Hi, Mike Pett. <laughs> so we're just gonna we're having a good time, Mike. We're having a great time. <laughs> we're having a great time. Crystal, you? Crystal Jardine, ladies and gentlemen. She's a co-sponsor. Co-sponsor. You're gonna be on the massive log. Awesome. First time. This is weird. This is how I shoot video now. Well, it's weird because it's right. I know, in but your it face. doesn't look that close on the video. Well, so what are, you, what are you doing here, Pets? Visiting you. Oh, how kind. Not not visiting the guys? Yeah. Okay. Paintings. So how was that? Amazing. Good idea, man. Sergeant Bradley Harper. Sergeant Justin Hoffman. Sergeant David Kruder. Lance Corporal Aaron Reed. It's Hi. Weird. Like, it's weird that he puts the thing like right know, in like, your face. Right. Like, what are we, yeah, what are you doing? What do you focus Personal on? Personal space yeah. right here. One arm's distance away, Sean. <laughs> One arm's distance away. 
<laughs> what? what the Why is it my fault? Who did this? You? It was a collaborative effort. Awesome. What do you think of your shirt, Mike? Uh, it's pretty funny. Payback coming from a long time ago. Yeah, what, what, what's the deal? What was the shirt you had? Headbanging since 71. Your senior picture. <laughs> oh. That was epic. <laughs> did you have fun here, man? Of course I did. Well, good luck in California, dude. Hey, we'll you, stay in touch, man. All right, so I am back home in Columbus, Ohio, ready to end this massive log without dust bunnies above my eyebrows or anything. So I apologize for that. Uh, the whole section in the middle of this vlog with uh, me speaking about the Ohio State Fair accident, I didn't realize that I had a dust bunny above my eyebrow. You know, I did the whole segment in one take, and just as I was editing this video footage, I realized uh, that it was there. But uh, maybe you didn't even notice. So I hope you enjoyed this massive vlog. Uh, I'm sure I'll be making some more. And please, please, please check out uh, my live streams whenever I do that. I kind of do them spontaneous, usually in the evenings. One of the last ones I did, I had the group that was chatting with me uh, saying hi to the massive vlog. I may throw this in the next massive vlog, which I should be editing. Hey, massive vlog, don't subscribe to my channel. <laughs> Here's the folks I'm chatting with in tonight's stream. Hello, vlog. And Tracy likes unicorns. Go figure. Have some uh, cool things planned for the rest of the year, and I'm sure I'll be sharing it with you folks there. Hit that like button. Please hit subscribe if you enjoy my videos. And I would love to hear from you, so check out one of my live streams. Uh, I always enjoy talking to everybody that subscribes to my channel, or even those that don't. So hopefully I'll be uh, seeing you in there soon, and maybe even meet you in person. And if so, uh, maybe I'll throw you up in the massive vlog. So uh, thanks again, everyone, for the support, and I will talk to you soon.